Hi everybody. This truly is um, a video meant for, for family and friends. So if you're a casual acquaintance, you probably don't want to be bored with it. But I just kind of wanted to bring everybody up to date on what I'm going to be going through this coming Thursday. Um, for about six or seven years, I've known that I've had some disc degeneration in my neck. I have relatively um, bad spinal arthritis and it creates bone spurs and calcification and that that means that it puts pressure on the discs and the discs um, kind of squish out of where they're supposed to be and it becomes bone on bone and at this point a lot of the bone spurs and um, the, the problem with the disc are pressing on nerves which is creating um, arm pain, shoulder pain. I've had it off and on for, you know, probably six or seven years, um, but starting this past January or February, it came and it never went away. So um, I, uh, you know, have seen a couple of doctors over it um, for the last, you know, few months, and, you know, it's relatively apparent that I am going to have to have a repair. So I just wanted you to see of what's happening I hope I can get a good picture there but this is my neck these are the vertebrae and in between the vertebrae are the discs which have like I say kind of squished out they're flexible kind of sinewy type um, shock absorbers in between the vertebrae and they're pressing on the spinal column and the nerves that also exit to go to the arms and that's why I'm having arm pain. So as you can see this C67 which is this is 6, this is 7, C5 and 6, there's a little kind of a little one there and uh, 4 and 5 there's another uh, kind of bigger one here. So if it were just this one it wouldn't be a problem but they can't fix this one and this one without fixing this one because there would be too much pressure on that um, single disc that's able to move. So they're going to fuse uh, uh, 3, 4, 4, 5, and 5, 6. So these four vertebrae are going to be fused together and in the front of my neck will be a titanium plate with screws going into each of those vertebrae. Um, it will mean that I'll lose, um, you know, a fair amount of um, movement in my neck. I still should be able to look side to side, and I will be able to look down, but I won't be able to get my my chin, you know, anywhere near my chest like I can now. Um, you know, and looking upward will be, um, you know, a little uncomfortable. So. You know, obviously I'm a little nervous about it. Um, it's going to be a big deal. It's going to be kind of life-changing. Um, but uh, probably the thing that worries me the most is not being able to drive because I'll have a, I'll have a neck brace on um, and I won't be able to, uh, to drive or you know, be mobile at all. Which, <laughs> but uh, you know, I'll kind of let you know how things are going. Um, you know, I've done a lot of research, um, talked to quite a few people that have had things like this done. Um, none quite as, as many vertebrae fused as I'm having. What I'm having is called the level three. Um, and hopefully I will just be uh, one night in the hospital. Um, I'm going in early Thursday morning. Hopefully I'll be home Friday. Um, and Kermit's taken off of work um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, obviously. So, um, I guess one of the biggest issues is, you know, a pretty bad sore throat. Um, that can be, um, you know, kind of problematic because they do go in from the front and they move um, the trachea out of the way so they can, you know, do the grinding and all that sort of thing to get, get rid of the discs and clean that up. And then they're going to put bone grafts in those spots where the, where the discs were. Um, hopefully clean up all the bone spurs and there won't be any more pressure on the nerves that um, are going to my arm and I will be pain free. That's the plan. 
So I'll keep you guys um, up to date on what's happening and we'll talk soon.